Hey everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, tonight I want to talk to you about 28 days and 28 weeks later. Um, 28 days later is the first movie and 28 weeks later is the second one. Um, so I know that everybody is into the zombie craze and everything and um, everybody loves The Walking Dead. Besides the seventh and eighth season, um, and they've made so many throughout the years. They've made so many cool zombie movies. They've also made a lot of terrible ones, um, and so I want to talk to you about this this uh, series in particular. Because if you love zombie movies, you will love these movies. Um, I find the first one to be the better of the two. And they did such an incredible job. Such an incredible job. For a zombie movie, it is one of the all-time best zombie movies ever made. In my opinion, anyway. But, for real. Um, so, Christopher Eccleston is in the first one, um, uh, towards the middle end, uh, but the first one is just so amazing, it is so great, and I really love it, I really enjoyed it, and it really is scary, um, and the second one has the guy that played for Rumpel on Once Upon a Time. And it had um, Jeremy Renner. And it had um, Rosa Byrne. Or Rosa Burns. I think it's Rosa Byrne. Um, and she plays the doctor. And Jeremy Renner plays a military guy. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, so, and the second one is really good. The second one is good. Uh, it, I personally don't think that it was as great as the first one. Because the first one just started out so strong. Like, started out the series on such a strong note. Um, but it is really an excellent... Uh, if you're into zombie flicks and zombie stuff, that's the way to go. Um... And, of course, the science of it all is much scarier than, you know, in Outbreak of Zombies. Why? The Undead. Uh, this has much more to do with, like, um, like a viral thing. And it, it, it's just, it's insane. I mean, the zombies run after you. They don't walk after you. They run, and they're really scary and everything. It is it is really good. Uh, it could give you nightmares because it's so scary. I mean, I don't, I don't have nightmares from a lot of movies, and a lot of horror movies don't bother me. But the first... The first 28 Days Later was really good, and it makes you really think, you know, oh my god. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, the cast was incredible, obviously. Um, I don't know, the way that they edited it was kind of weird, but it, it flowed. It was amazing. They had their own style to it. And I really do appreciate and enjoy that and respect that. Um, and it, they just knew what they wanted to do with it. So, now I've been hearing over the years that they're going to make a third one, and I really hope that that's the case. Because if they were to make one of these, like the third one to the series in 2019... It's going to be hella good. Um, because the first one came out... I don't even see a year, but... Anyway. Uh, if a movie was done now... 
with the same style, direction, creators, the whole nine yards. Um, <clears throat> I believe it. Would, there's just so much potential to the series. I think that it would be amazing, and I think that they should really pursue a third one because the first two were so good. Especially with the way that the second one left off. Um, guys, check it out. I highly recommend it. Okay, it is not an ordinary zombie, cheesy zombie thing. It is made with quality. It is made with great direction. It is made with great story, which is really important. It is made with great characters, excellent actors and actresses that really bring these characters to life and everything. <clears throat> so, I... It's just crazy. It's amazing. It's it's great. So check it out, especially if you love zombies, because um, there's not many. I can name all the great zombie movies. That's how many there are. I I can go on and on and on and on and on and on about the terrible list of zombie movies. But I can pretty much count on one hand how many great zombie movies there are. <clears throat> um, I really thoroughly enjoyed, you know, these two, 28 Days and 28 Weeks Later. I really enjoyed World War Z. And I really enjoyed Dawn of the Dead. Those are pretty much the greats of the zombie world. Um, <clears throat> of course... You know, uh, I haven't seen Z Nation. Um, I know that my family loves Z Nation. I haven't started it or watched it yet, um, but I will eventually do that. Uh, but, you know, The Walking Dead is pretty great up to season 7 and 8, but I haven't gotten to 9 yet because I really... Season 7 and 8 of The Walking Dead just really killed my mood. It really uh, distinguished the magic that it had. It really, um, really destroyed the, um, it really destroyed the potential of the heights that it could have reached. And I hear from a lot of my friends at work, um, and other people in general that season 9 really has brought back the series to its prime has really done an excellent job with the turnaround and i understand that and i'm not gonna, i can't judge it because i haven't seen it but it's just like ugh. honestly the seventh season was so horrible that i had to force myself to start season eight and i haven't finished season eight yet because i'm over it um but the only reason why i have to force myself to get over season eight is because i've already spent all this time on this show i can't just stop just because there's a little you know two speed bumps in the road um, so I'm gonna keep going and march on with that. Anyway, getting off topic. <laughs> um, check out 28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later. Excellent zombie movies. Check them out. And like, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think of these movies once you watch them. If you have watched them, please don't give any spoilers. Um, I, I try not to give any spoilers away because I don't like spoilers. I love the shock value. I love surprises. So that's why I don't. I give spoiler free reviews on whatever I do. <clears throat> so um, if you really want to talk spoiler stuff, message me about it. Not giving it away for everyone else and ruining the ruining the experience. So have a great night, guys.